After we launched the audio overview on Notebook LN website, I walk into the office, open my laptop, and saw a flood of messages pouring in. User feedback, congratulations from colleagues and even friends who are not in tech. We were trending. My name is Biao Wang. I'm a product manager on Notebook LN team at Google. So Notebook LM is an AI-powered research assistant that helps you understand the information that matters the most to you. One of its biggest strengths is that it's grounded in your own sources, which means everything it generates is only based on the information you have provided to the product. You can upload things like PDFs, websites, YouTube videos, Google Slides, Docs, and more into Notebook LM and then ask questions or create new content to help accelerate your understanding of the material you care about. And so that means every time you chat with Notebook LM, it'll cite where it found that information in your sources directly. So you can click the citation and see where the AI got the answer from. I'm Madeline Volkertz. I'm a senior engineer at Google, and I'm working on the Notebook LM mobile app. Notebook LM went viral primarily because of the audio overview feature. So this is the podcast that sounds pretty realistic, and it's two people talking about whatever you've uploaded. Super useful. It's designed for really deep work. You're comparing lots of different sources. And the entire mobile experience, the whole thing was built using Flutter. Flutter. Okay, wait, let's dig into that. It was really the podcast feature that made Notebook LM take off. Since launching Audio Overview, the number one feature request we have been seeing from users across all kinds of channels was a dedicated Notebook LM mobile app. So we quickly adjusted our roadmap and you know, aligned with this um, huge interest from the users. We set a goal for ourselves to launch by our big Google I.O. event. This was a really accelerated timeline for the mobile app. We had a really small team as well. There are about four engineers working on the app. Given this timeline and demand from users, we were racing against the clock. One of the main reasons we chose Flutter is that we can move really fast without sacrificing quality. Flutter is built here at Google, and we had heard that other teams had really great experiences with Flutter. Flutter enabled us to build a really beautiful and seamless experience for our users for both Android and iOS with a single code base. And so we didn't have to have the massive overhead of having two separate mobile teams and this has continued to help us ship features pretty quickly. Since the main feature request from users was listening to their audio overviews on the go, it was clear we needed to build this in to the initial launch of the product. And so we were able to leverage a pretty popular open source plugin called Just Audio, and this really streamlined our development process. It meant that most engineers on the team did not have to touch the underlying native audio code at all. We use a number of Flutter plugins from the Flutter ecosystem. There was the file selector plugin, which helped users upload documents from their device. And we also had an in-app review plugin. And they're pretty stable because they're tried and tested by the Flutter community and used in all sorts of apps. And so the majority of the native code in our app is encapsulated by these plugins. And so we generally do not have as many stability issues there. In the end, we were able to launch the mobile app within seven months. I remember feeling a little bit nervous on launch day. We had received a huge number of pre-installs, and so we knew that the demand was high and expectations were really high as well. And on top of that, we have a very global user base, and so we decided to launch to all 170 countries and regions on the same day. And fortunately, the app was received really well. We got 4.8 stars on both the App Store and the Play Store. But beyond the rating, we were also featured on the Apple App Store. And this was a huge accomplishment for the team. It meant that we really built an experience that felt like a true iOS native experience. Building a highly successful mobile app from scratch within such a short time frame and limited resources would not have been possible without Flutter. 